I fought both of them, man. So knowing knowing both of them, you know, just off of the of the fight that I just had, and then after that, after all the fights that I've watched them have, you know, um, I see them both very improved in their mixed martial arts game. They still rely on their wrestling heavily, and you know, they both want they both throw hands. You know, they're like they're like I think almost even in height. You know, like stature. They're like you know high reach. They're like like virtually like identical. And um, you know, I I feel like the the one with the uh, with the most balls is gonna win. You know, I mean the one that's gonna take the most risks is gonna win. And you know, when I fought them both, um, from from both of them, Colby Covington, I have to give I have to give the victory to Colby Covington. Cause I see him with the most improved. He fought the hard, the harder fights, from my opinion. You know, with it, with the other opponent, and um, I just know he's a risk taker. Like, I, you know, when you watch his fight against him in RDA, he was just like, you know, he was doing things that maybe was out of his comfort zone, but yet he did it and he pulled it off. You know, from spinning back techniques, um, jumping, striking techniques, combining with his takedowns. Um, he has, uh, for me, better footwork than than Kamaru Usman. You know, more unpredictable footwork. That's gonna, that's gonna probably mess with uh with Kamaru. You know, I know Kamaru. It's a tremendous athlete and a hard worker, but it's just like you know, I, I fought them both, man, and I could just see that you know, and out of both their eyes, you know what I mean? Like Kobe Covington is like one of these rare white dudes. You know, there's not that many tough, rare white dudes out there, and he's one of those tough, rare ones. You know, where like you know, his great granddaddy, you know, was in the wars and stuff. You know, so he has like a bloodline of like warrior blood in him. So he he has a very strong belief, which when he he goes in in a battle, he goes in there he goes in there for broke, you know. So he, I could see him being a little bit more aggressive, you know, and really putting it on Kamaru. You know what I mean? Not to take nothing away from Kamaru, but you know what I mean. The, the dude can't even remember me, bro. So like, and you know, at least Colby had the enough enough you know respect to just you know give me a shout out though he beat me. You know what I mean? Like at least he knows who I am, you know. So I like the guy. I think he's gonna win. And you know, I don't care about Kamaru. You know, he's he's. I don't even think his black belt's even real. You know what I mean? Like, it's just just what it is. You know what I mean? Like, it, this is the game where you get to pick your favorite fighter, and like you and you get to pick sides. And one, some somebody's gonna be right, and somebody's gonna be wrong. And if you're telling me who I'm gonna pick, Colby, I'm going for you, bro. They're not going to be wrestling each other. I have a prediction that it's just going to be toe-to-toe slugfest. And it's not going to be like, um, it's not going to be like a, like a timid fight. They're going to be going at it. They're going to go after each other. It, you know, when you see that kind of dynamic where people are like virtually the same, you know what I mean? Like in everything, they're going to, for some reason, it always plays out like where they all, they do their, their weakest discipline against each other. You know, which is going to be their striking. But the only way I see Colby losing is because he's drinking way too much bang energy and having too much sex with his hoes. <laughs> just the gimmick, Colby, and you're not out there, like, you know what I mean, just releasing all of your man juice everywhere and drinking all that bang energy. Because I'm telling you, dude, it ain't going to end well for you, bro.